If you're tired of that same old Thanksgiving dinner with turkey and cranberry sauce, try spicing up your meal with a little Caribbean flavor. I like yes. that. Ooh. Joining us with his sizzling spin on holiday supper is Chef Mark Anthony Bailey. Hey there, welcome Hello. again. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, a little Thanksgiving. early. <laughs> and a spicy one at that. Mm, <laughs> and I ready. brought my jerk turkey recipe. Okay, wow. but, okay, so before we get into the recipe, let's mm -hmm. talk about your background. You're Jamaican, hence yes. the jerk turkey. Yes, born and okay. raised in the Bronx to Jamaican <laughs> parents. The jerk has been in my family for a long time. My mom does it every year. Mm -hmm. I kind of put my own little twist on it, but I still think hers is the best. Okay. Hi, mom. Well, that's really <laughs> so let me ask you right this. Are Jamaican Thanksgiving dinners very different from the American traditional Thanksgiving dinner? You know what? I think it's traditional in the sense that we have the turkey, we have the basics, but then we have so much more. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we like to eat. So you'll find things Things like curry goat and, and oxtails and all kinds of other stuff at, at, at a, you know, a Caribbean dinner yeah. as well. In addition to the turkey and the stuffing and all those yummy stuff. But today we're doing a turkey with a twist because you're making jerk, jerk turkey. Yes, jerk this is a turkey. jerk marinade. So okay. it's a lot of components to this, but okay. it's really simple. All you're doing is pureeing all this stuff. Okay, so let's um, get the party started. We'll, we'll so dump all the stuff. I'll just start okay. here. So what's that's this? scallions and thyme. So I put that in there? Yeah, that's about five uh, scallions and some five sprigs of uh, okay. thyme. Okay, what's this? this? Uh, ginger. Ginger, yes. Mm, that's Delicious. Strong. Good. Okay. Yes. All right. That's uh, molasses. Molasses. Mm -hmm. That's going to go in slow. Slow as molasses. <laughs> yes, and that's a nice How much molasses addition. are you putting in there? Really about maybe about two tablespoons or so. All yeah. right. I, like I to see get some. Is that brown sugar over there? Yes, just that's brown sugar too. Right. Isn't just sweet enough. Want, exactly. You want an extra <laughs> kick with that. So brown, that's the brown okay. sugar. Brown sugar. How much and you're not sugar? talking about me, are you? Oh, right. Right. put your finger in there. You can put a little bit in there. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Yeah, about two tablespoons of brown sugar is good. Chef Margaret, you didn't get my joke. I got it. Okay. 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 He's so focused on the food. I'm focused on the food, exactly. We can have fun and be yes. focused. Okay, there we go. Bit, That's little, enough brown sugar? Yeah, that's okay, good. so what's this? Some vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. About there two we go. Of that as well. Oh, right. There we no, go. Oil is always good. It's always it looks like good. several yes. different spices. There's a lot going in on in there. Let me what go over it. Okay. All spice. You got some cumin, paprika, you got nutmeg as well in there. So nope. you're going to get wow. that all in there, exactly. That smells delicious. Exactly. Hand that over here, mm -hmm. Shannon. There you go. All yes, right. Let's dump it all in there. Shake it up. And you can smell it. It smells really good. Uh huh. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yes. I didn't know soy sauce was in there. Yes, it's in there too. About a third cup. A little tang, mm -hmm. little Asian tang. Yeah, it gives it a little extra right. salt okay. too. Now, now that's this? orange. That's mine too. I put orange juice as well as apple cider vinegar. Oh, I thought there. it was butter. I was like, that's a lot of butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could dump that See, all I don't in cook there. Often. Yeah, that's apple cider vinegar. About a half a cup as well as about a quarter cup Starting of uh, look orange awesome. juice. Ooh, this looks so good. Then we have some garlic cloves. Mm. Garlic. Gotta have some garlic, some garlic in there. Cloves. Yeah, those there are all. There we go. Yep, you just throw those in there. All right. And last but not least, the spice. These are Scotch bonnet peppers. Now, now they're scary. Yes. So you want to just pull the little top off there and you're going to drop it in there. But the whole depending thing. on how spicy you want it, you might put one, you might put two, okay. you might put three. Now, is it better to have different colors of the actual peppers? They're actually all just as spicy. Okay. Oh. All just as spicy. So let's but you put know, a little red put one a red in there, in there for as well. Fun. Exactly. Yeah, it's the holidays. Make it pretty. Exactly. Oh <laughs> what you would do is cover that and puree it real quick until okay. you get okay. something like this. So we're not going to do that because it's already done. Yeah, it's so already done. Camera. You know, imagine the TV. So this is the consistency we're looking That's for. That's the consistency. It's all pureed down. It even smells really great. You get all the flavors and everything. Now we get on to the bird. Okay, I'm gonna put my gloves on for this one. Here we go. I'm it's ready to operate now. on this bird right here. That's good. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. I like that. Now what I do is just rub it all down, of course. Yeah, and but I, I like that you have gloves because I hate when people touch my food, yeah, even if they're you know, preparing you it. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you definitely. Oh, why so I like get to get it? under here, okay, this is why the so. butter is out. So what I like to do is get some butter, okay, you know, and you mix it with the sauce, and then you just get it all under there as well. Like, really? Make sure that's just for the top now, for the breast. You get okay. it like that, you know, and you just really get in there. You, and you're no, so it's because I see a lot of people, sh you know, put the stuff on the there. outside. Oh, okay. you're gonna do it all on the outside as well, oh, definitely. So outside, but I'm just I gotta get sure on the inside get, to really get the flavor get the into the meat. The, into the meat, there you oh. go. And it's good to do this the day before, mm -hmm. definitely, because you want to have to sit overnight. What about in the hole? Should I put it in yep, there too? Yeah, you you're gonna put that sauce <laughs> everywhere. That's crazy. Butter definitely under the skin on the breast there. But yeah, you're doing well. You're marinating there. I've never. Never marinated the bird, bird before, no. Yeah. And then what about it, the outside? Rub it you... slowly, massage exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. right. Massage. And before I you... got you covered, bird, <laughs> I'll take care of you. <laughs> and what you would have done before this is put a little salt and pepper on there too, just okay. to kind of like okay. pre season more, the bird. More. Okay, but I'm it's a lot, faster. it's a lot, yeah. So is it just you're how long use do you have to massage this bird? Oh my goodness. Get Not the legs. necessarily, yeah, get you're going to get it all in there, watch. It's it's a lot, but you're going to definitely, yeah. Ooh. The more sauce, the more flavorful the bird is. And what about the bottom of the bird? 
everywhere. That, oh, the, really? You're gonna, you're gonna do the entire bird. I'm glad I wore gloves. Yes, exactly. Because you just want to, you know, for those who like dark meat, you know, underneath there and stuff like that. You, you know, I like the dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> chicken, Lola, chicken. <laughs> Look, it's turkey. It seems more juicy than the white meat. It seems dry. Yeah. What is the key to making sure that your turkey isn't dry? Basting. Oh. That's the part everybody hates. Basting. Oh. Yes. Okay. You have to how baste does that, how does that the work? bird. After about the first hour, hour and a half of being in the oven, depending on the size of your bird, of course, you know, determines how long you cook it. But Ugh. um yeah, for how example, long should this, you cook it? Because everybody's pounder. like, oh, it takes too long. All right, here. This is a 14 pounder. This okay. will be about four and a half to five okay. and a half hours. Okay. Really? Right, for exactly. A 14 pound bird. For 14 pound, yeah. Four and a half to five yeah. hours. Anywhere from 12 to about 15 pounds, four and a half to five and a half hours. And right. what do you set the oven on? 325. 325. So it's nice and slow. Okay. But I suggest after the first hour, start basting. Once you, once the turkey creates all the juices, mm -hmm. start basting it every 20 minutes. Now, all I know right. that's a headache, but if you get in but that kitchen. I'm going to put this in the oven game. while you guys are talking. Exactly. Put this in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, you're, you're, you're talking, you're hanging out, and stuff Ooh, like that. But that you're five hours really went by quick, didn't really it? Really fast. And then you Woo, get something look out. Look at this beautiful nice. bird. Oh. Spicy bird. Yay. Exactly. And I see you still stuffed it with yes, the I have stuffing. stuffing. Yes, I do okay. a turkey sausage and sage stuffing. Mm. The sage is the that everything. That sounds exactly. divine. Mm -hmm. Now yes. we always debate on the proper way to carve the turkey. Oh, is there a trick gosh. to this? Every family what? goes through this. Right, I know. So how do you do you it? it? Show us the official it, chef way. It really is the legs. You do you you basically get rid of the legs, the wings, and all that stuff. So first. you cut and the legs off first. The, exactly. Uh, and you, yeah, exactly. Oh, this it, is, oh it's just coming it's so right off the bone. I love that. Okay, so after we get the legs off, and then you get to the breast. Exactly. Now do you do that in the center or kind just like start layering I've off? actually pre-sliced something oh, like this. Oh, so you, so you kind slice of off layers exactly. after you get the legs off. Kind of like off. against the grain. Can I exactly. try that piece? Oh, oh my gosh. Are you you're into Ooh. spice? I am. I okay. love spicy mm. foods. Good. Okay. Look, oh, look. I'm a pro at this. You see? Now, I'm, you no, know. is that what you're going to be doing on Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> mm. Let me get a taste in oh, here and I see how we do it. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I'll take a little piece. Just a little piece. That'll be afterwards. Okay. After the show is on, I'm telling you. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about the side dishes that go best you with like this that? jerk turkey, which is fantastic, by the way. Yeah, excellent. Well, I have some coconut rice and peas. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. which I think is a great component. That's mm -hmm. also something that would be at my parents' house okay. on Thanksgiving. Here is how I kind of like I get my cranberries. I'm not a big oh, fan of okay. cranberries, so we still but got the cranberries. I in. created like a cranberry chutney and kind of layer it over the Brussels sprouts, which so, is a okay. really good. Yeah, the, the Brussels sprouts are roasted. Okay. You know, just tossed with a little salt and pepper, a little olive oil, Ro roasted for I about 40 minutes. I usually don't like Brussels sprouts, but these are actually with really delicious. With the cranberry, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. And then that's Have my signature mac and cheese. Oh, signature. Yes, it's all okay. white, white cheese, all white cheeses, white black powder, everything's white in there. Okay. And, um, you know, and so, yeah, you got to have mac and cheese for Thanksgiving. There's Absolutely. No getting, you know. So Since exactly. it's your signature dish, I just want to yeah, try a little try corner. Yeah, you got to try You got to dig cheese. in here. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I like it because it's not too cheesy. It's yeah. not and it has a kick. cheesy. And it has a kick. There's a, I use pepper jack cheese. Okay. As well as, uh, I put a little stuff in there. That's why so I So it's all about jack. making sure it has right. a little spice to it's it, right. right? Exactly, but it's Oh my cheesy. gosh. <laughs> now, what do, what do you think the biggest misconception is that people have with making a turkey? Or making Thanksgiving dinner in mm -hmm. general? I think they think it's hard. Mm -hmm. You this, know? Is the, this is the truth. Right That's here. the truth. You, this that is the truth. Well, okay. she's like the truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. Hashtag truth. This yeah. is delicious. Mm -hmm. you, you know, they think it's hard. You know, everybody claims it's dry all the time. So mm -hmm. it's like they really don't think there's anything that they can do to get it. And it's really, I don't want to say it's no different than a turkey, but mm -hmm. I think you just spend a lot more time giving it a little bit of love with that basting. Mm -hmm. It comes out so great. And so I think the mis biggest misconception is that it's a hard. Now, how often do we have to base it? Because it takes five hours. Every to cook 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Every you 20 minutes. Like literally every Twenty minutes. Trust me. Is it, doesn't it taste good? Well, we're based, it is. It's okay. actually very good. I was basting that every twenty minutes. Uh, now inside <laughs> and outside, <laughs> under the skin, everywhere. So we can taste uh, the love. We yes. really can. No, seriously. Yeah, you're just you're just gonna baste it all over. You watch. Trust me. Okay. Oh, you're a pro. I, I won't be trying th this year, but oh. I will give my wife some tips on how to make it, <laughs> how to give it a twist for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I may help her massage the turkey. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Just All get right. to eating. All right, let's have a break. <laughs> Thank you let's so much break. for being you're here. You're very welcome. <laughs> and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. <laughs>